Hello, today I will be checking for fault codes to try and diagnose the drivability and intermittent no start problem with an old Peugeot 306. As you can see here, this is a car that is before the OBD2 system and uses the old fashioned Peugeot 2 pin DLC connector. I'll be doing this fault code reading in two methods. Firstly, I'll be using a Haynes PFCR reader. And secondly, I'll be using a LED test lamp and some wires to short between different connections. You don't necessarily have to use an LED test lamp. In the place of the LED test lamp, you could use an oscilloscope if you wanted to keep a log of the traces or an attenuated mobile phone headphone input if you so wished. The procedure is quite simple. Before connecting anything, make sure the ignition is turned off. Once the ignition is off, Connect the positive of the LED test lamp to the battery, the negative to DLC connector pin 2 and also to DLC connector pin 2 connect a loose cable which will be used to ground later. Once everything is connected, turn the ignition on but engine off. Turn off the immobiliser if it is not part of the key itself and then you can begin the process. To gather the codes you have to short this wire to the battery negative or to somewhere on the bodywork for three seconds, maybe a little bit more. Do not short for any longer than 10 seconds as that will delete the codes. And once you've shorted for three seconds, the LED test lamp should turn off and then you will get the code flashes. The first digit of the code will, will be one or more flashes in quick succession, followed by a pause followed by the second digit of the code as one or more flashes in quick succession. Once one code has been generated you must wait three, four seconds for the LED lamp to come back on then you can short again for the same three seconds and read the code in the same way. Follow this procedure until you are given a code 11 which signifies the end of, of the test code process. Regardless of any fault codes actually stored in the system, there should be two codes that you will get. The first code you'll receive will be a code 12. This signifies the beginning of the code stream. This will be signified by one flash, a pause of about one and a half seconds, followed by two flashes in quick succession. Once you've got to the end of the code stream, you'll get a code 11. This is one flash, a pause of one and a half seconds, followed by another flash. This signifies the end of the code stream. An example of an actual fault code would be a code 41 which signifies a crankshaft position sensor or its circuit. This is given by four flashes in quick succession, so flash, 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 then a pause of around one and a half seconds, then one flash. And then after three seconds the LED lamp should come back on and then you can perform the um, code reading again to get the next code or to get the ending code. So here's the PFCR, here you have the main unit, the pod specific for Peugeot Citroen, the Peugeot Citroen cable, battery negative clip, battery positive clip. The pod goes in the back, like so. This 8 pin mini DIN connector goes in the 8 pin mini DIN connector on top of the on top of the device. Very difficult to do this one handed. This is the um, 2 pin DLC plug for to be plugged into a 2 pin DLC connector in the car. Battery positive banana plug goes in the red end. Battery negative goes in the black end. And there we go, it's set up for use. And this will get plugged into the 2 pin DLC connector on the car. This will get plugged into, well, clipped onto battery positive. This will get clipped onto battery negative. And then once that's done, the machine should wake up and display something, and then you just go through. Go through the menus, 
basically follow what the machine asks you to do. This is the test lamp. This is the test lamp's positive lead. This gets connected to the battery's positive. This is the test lamp's negative, and this gets connected to a T pin connected to the um, pin two of the of the DLC connector. Also to that to pin two is this shorting cable. When we're ready to read the codes, this will be shorted against the battery negative or some part of bodywork for three seconds and then the codes will begin to be read. So here we have the setup for the oscilloscope. Here we have oscilloscope BNC connector which will plug into any oscilloscope. I'm going to be using a Hantec um, PC oscilloscope. You have positive which connects to the battery, negative which connects to the DLC pin 2 and the shorting cable which also connects to DLC pin 2. Once everything's ready, the same procedure as with the test lamp applies. Short against the battery negative or the bodywork for 3 seconds and start reading the codes. Just checking battery voltage on starting. With no ignition, it's quite low, but it's quite cold this morning, so it's expected. Could you try and start? <laughs> Bloody dogs. Oh, that's a low drop already. And the ignition's just in first position. Hold it. Okay, stop. Yeah, that battery's dead. Okay, the PFCR is plugged in and I'm just going through the, the menus now. Choosing Peugeot as a manufacturer. Standard system. Turn the ignition on. Ignition's on and the mobiliser is de-immobilised. Choose read faults and wait. It's reading faults now. and it's found no fault. Test light set up. Now we just need to ground it for three seconds and read the flashes. So shorting. Light goes off. One, one, two. Okay, that's the first series of code. That's the beginning. Light goes back on. Short again. Light goes off. One. One. And that was the um, finish code, so there are no codes logged. Unfortunately it was far too fiddly to do the scope work and film at the same time, so I can only show the results. As can be seen in the white boxed area of interest, you can see where the connection was first made, the first shorting was made, followed shortly by the code 12 flash, followed by a pause of 1.5 seconds, but followed by two flashes in quick succession. You wait for the light to come back on, short again, and the next code is red, which in this case was code 11, one flash, followed by a pause, followed by another flash, and then the test ends. When I got to the car, the owner had unplugged the battery um, following advice from a friend of theirs which led to obviously the codes being deleted 
Um, so the fault code testing was, was mainly done for your benefit. Um, the starting problem was actually not an intermittent starting problem, it was a just a simple failure to start and looking at the battery you could clearly see it was old and crusty and the battery test proved that it would it was a battery failure causing the starting problem. The drivability problem was down to a faulty oxygen sensor and a dirty idle air controller. Um, I'm pretty certain if the battery hadn't been unplugged there would at least have been an oxygen sensor code but um, as for the idle air sensor I don't know. I'd like to apologize for the quality of some of the video in this. I'm not quite sure why my camera is struggling with colors. I'd also like to apologize for not showing the testing of the oxygen sensor or the idle air valve, but those things are fairly easy to do. There's plenty of information about that on the internet, um, plenty of YouTube videos. You don't need me to tell you that. Anyway, that's enough of this. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.